Hey guys, it's Aji. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out some of the lenses from Alma Beauty. So if you want to see how these lenses look like and what my thoughts are on them, then just keep watching. So Alma Beauty is apparently like a fairly new brand. Um, I read their website, I went on their website, checked everything out, and apparently they launched in 2020 so that's why they're a fairly new name in the contacts industry full disclosure they are sponsoring me to review these lenses they're not sponsoring me to promote these lenses they just wanted me to try some of them on and give my honest thoughts so yeah i'll be again 100 percent honest like i keep saying but if this is not your type of content feel free to click out it's 100 percent fine so yeah going back um they are they have lots of colors um i actually had a hard time picking out what kind of lenses i want from them they also have like quarterly lenses daily lenses yearly lenses i believe that all of the contacts that i have right now are uv blocking contact lenses which is better for the eyes than just regular lenses so yeah i'm excited to try them on for you guys i actually have um, removed their packaging four of the lenses that i have are yearly lenses so i've been letting them soak in solution and yeah without further ado let's start on with the first color <music> I hope you guys don't mind me bringing you in closer. I just wanted you guys to sh see the contacts a little better. The first two that I'll be trying are the daily lenses and this is one of them, Salted Egg Yolk. Um, I thought it would look unnoticeable, like super super natural, like barely visible, but the color is actually much stronger than I thought it would be. Like looking at it now, it's kind of like a yellowy yellowy brown color but you don't really notice it because it is kind of sheer and it also has a limbo ring i don't know if you guys can notice but yeah and i think that's one of the reasons why the, uh, these lenses look so natural i think it's nice that it shows up well even on on top of dark brown eyes i think these were designed to show up well on dark brown eyes so this is salted egg yolk now let's move on to the second daily color which is um sweet taro puree <music> taro puree um the color out of the case looks a little bit pinkish on the eyes though it's a dark purple with grayness to it i that's also something that i think would best describe the color although i'm very <laughs> horrible at it uh it does look nice it's very similar in design to the sweet salted egg yolk the blend towards the pupil is super nice super smooth while the limbo ring for the earlier contacts was brown this i feel like is almost gray it looks really nice on with like natural light i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah i also noticed from their packaging that this is a 14.2 millimeter sized lens so that means it's the average size but it does add kind of like a bit of an enlarging effect or like it makes your eyes look more awake Anyway, let's move on to the yearly contact lenses. So the 
this is tahini cube i also thought this <laughs> i i thought i picked out the natural looking contact lenses but when they're worn they don't look as natural i suppose okay so in terms of looks it definitely has a very distinct limbal ring like it's very dark it's kind of thick so it emphasizes uh it has an emphasized limbal ring um the color inside is kind of like grayish like a very very dark gray but it doesn't have any of those like blue tones or green tones like it's just a black black and white kind of gray if you get what i mean I'm not sure, but I think they have two different colors. So I suppose it's three-toned. It's a three-tone type of lens. And according to the website, it also has 14.2 millimeter. But again, it does give you a dolly look, especially with the emphasized limbal ring. So yeah, this is the Hini Cube, a yearly contact lens. On to the next color. So this is Honey Nini Grey and um, I really like it. It's a grayish color that in real life and in natural lighting looks a bit more like a very dark blue. Like, like a grey with a dark blue tint. Again, it also has a very distinct limbal ring. Like it's, it's very strong. Like it's, I think it's a black color. It's very two-toned as well, so um, the color inside is pretty consistent, but it blends to the pupil hole quite nicely. Like, it isn't too harsh, and it shows up well on top of dark brown eyes, so I don't think I can really complain about that. I mean, it's nice. It's also very comfortable too. It doesn't shift around my eyes, and so far I haven't felt any discomfort with other lenses either. But let's try the next color and see if that changes. on the website the picture on the website this look a little subtle a little more subtle than it looks right now i don't know how i would describe the color it does look brown like a yellowy brown but also leaning towards gray the people hole is actually pretty big as you can see they left the middle hole pretty pretty wide the ombre between the clear to the color is actually pretty smooth um, this would pass as a natural lens, but um, I'm not sure if that's how it would look like for other people, especially for those who are more used to natural lenses. Because of this color, the, like this light grayish brown color, is a little bright. I would say that to the scale of natural to glam, it's kind of like in a good middle. Because although the color is like very bright, the design makes it look so that it's a little bit more natural looking. I don't know if that makes sense. In terms of comfort though, I think I jinxed it with my last comment because this does feel a little more uncomfortable. Kind of, it kind of feels similarly to when my eyes are drying out. And it's also like, it also shifts quite a lot when I blink. So mm -mm. I don't know if I'm going to continue wearing this. Uh, between you and me, I'm honestly excited to like remove this and try on the last color. So let's do that.
gets its name from the design, obviously. And the design is pretty obvious, like in the case, in the lens case, because um, you can see uh, the colors there better. But when worn, it does look a little bit more different. The petal design makes it look a little more kind of like inconsistent. Like it's not just a plain color all throughout. Some spots are more opaque, some spots are more sheer. Um, but the, the petal design isn't really that obvious, so it doesn't look as intimidating. Um, I really like how it, it really is brown. Like the main color is just a light brown and the limbal ring is a red, dark reddish brown. The pupil hole is, I would say, average sized. Um, I would prefer it if the blend of the actual color towards the pupil was smoother given the the design like the existing petal design overall i'm not i'm not mad at it it's a nice brown color it shows up well on top of dark brown eyes and it's really comfortable i think there's just a problem with my flesh brown that's why it feels that way but this feels obviously a bit thicker because of like the opacity of the design um but also because it's a yearly lens Nanami Petal Brown. I I like it. So yeah guys, that has been me trying out lenses from Anma Beauty. I forgot to say in the intro, but they did send me these lenses. Uh, this lens case as well as the individual lens cases here. I really like the, that the way the lens case is open is right here so you don't lose the lid it's easy to open and close it's a nice change compared to the contact lens case which you have to like spin for in order for it to close i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah it's really nice my top three would be sweet taro puree my top two would be honey mini gray and then my first my favorite pick would be the salted egg yolk um, color. I just really like how natural it, lo it looks like. Just overall, these lenses from Alma Beauty also give me Taoyin vibes. Like the lenses that those like pretty girls on Taoyin wear. Especially the daily lenses. Oh my god. If they release salted egg yolk in like a yearly color, I would definitely purchase it. And then speaking of purchase, all of the lenses that I actually tried on today um, are between the price range of I believe $18 up to $22. There's, I think there's nothing higher than $22 of all the lenses that I tried whether yearly or daily. If you are on a budget, I definitely recommend checking out their yearly collection. They have lots of colors there. In terms of comfort, uh, again, I did not really feel any discomfort other than from flesh brown. So I don't know if I'll keep using that. But for the rest, they're super nice, super good. They show up well on dark brown eyes. And they make you look <laughs> pretty. They're just my type of contact lenses. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So if you do decide to purchase any of the contact lenses that I tried on for this video, there's a unique 15% off discount, which is Aji Kiambao. Yes, my full name. You can use Aji Kiambao to get a 15% off discount site-wide. So no matter what you choose, it's fine, you'll still get that discount and don't worry, I don't get anything from that discount code just to save you guys some coins. So yeah, that has been it for me trying out Anma Beauty. It's definitely nice to be trying out a new brand. I'll put in the links in the description for each of the lenses as well as their shop and their IG so you guys can check them out. and. Yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. And if you want to keep seeing content like this, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Comment what contact lens you think best suited this look. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!